Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. We're having an awesome week because we're relaxing a lot. Uh, Gabby just arrived on the scene. What are you making there, Gabby? Cake. Cake, what kind of cake? Cake for breakfast? Mug cake. Mug cake, this is one of Gabby's favorite things. Got the phone there, just so you guys don't think she walked too far from it. Got all the puppies. And we are headed over to do some fun stuff with the boys. We, we told also got you some icing. We also got some icing. What color is it? Chocolate? Brown. 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 Dark brown. Dark like brown. Storm. Like storm. storm. Black. Oh, like Chino. Apparently he's dark bay, but he's black, I think. Yeah. In the winter. In the summer. Wait. In he's the, even dark in the summer. Darker in the summer. And lighter in the winter? No, darker in the winter. Oh. That's because it's white outside, so it makes them look mm. darker. Anyway, we're headed to the barn. We didn't have uh, vlog chores this morning. Only Sophie and I showed up. I told you guys that for the spring break, the only thing that my kids can do that's fun is sleep in, make their own choices, show up to the barn to do their chores. Did you do your chores this morning? Yes. Was it easy? Yes. Did you sweep? My stall, yes. Did you sweep any messes that you made outside of yourself? No, I didn't make any. Ooh, well, we're gonna go down there and see if she did a good job. The grass is getting long, you guys. It won't be long before I can put the horses out. Hi, Penny Pickle. Hello, princess. Look at, she's all clean this morning. It's actually way too cold down here to just have on a t-shirt, but I'm being optimistic. So basically, we're headed to the barn, but before we go, I wanna get some fun things. I told you guys, like, our next ride is gonna be a fun ride. Uh-oh, pluck. All the barn is all swept, except for right in front of Gabby's stall, which is looking cute. Uh, it's 11 degrees in here. Oh, who's behind the, who is behind the door? It's a little willow. <laughs> She's like, just show me the treats. Hello. She's such a cute pony. Hello. So because our train, like last time our trainers couldn't be with us, we had no trainers, my kids, went backwards so much. They went backwards to the point that they created like all these new problems happened. Like they started holding too tight and holding the horses back and because trainers give you confidence. Hi Pen. Hello beautiful lady. I booked the chiropractor to come and see you. I did. She looks a little funny to me in the back. Well, I kicked her the other day, you guys know, and sometimes when you're like, limping and trying to stay off of that kind of a side it'll cause you to have an issue someplace else and so nothing major but she just looks like a little funny in that same side in the back so like in her hip area the chiropractor is coming next week so i decided to have her stop here first because she's only in our area once every month so she's going to come and see penny pickle and I'm excited because like I told you, she tells us so many amazing things. Like not only is she a vet and a chiropractor, she has her own horse so she understands. Also, this morning when I didn't bring you guys down with us, it was so amazing. I brushed Penny before I let her out and I brushed Gracie. I'll just show you guys. I brushed her, I brushed her so that she was beautiful and gorgeous this morning before she went outside. There was no mud on her face. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh, I sprayed beautiful, whoops. I sprayed amazing stuff in her mane. Oh, her mane looks good still. It's the only proof that I brushed her this morning. So what I'm looking for is a tarp and a flag, something I could use as a flag. That'd be, well, yeah, that'd be a good flag, I think. Uh, well, here is a tarp. Could bring these small pylons, but uh, what about pool noodles that the girls could use as swords? I think that'd be fun. Hmm, maybe these little pylons I'll bring. I know I have a tarp somewhere because we use it every summer. I know we have a couple of them. All right. Da -da -da -da. All right, it's small, but it'll do. This'll work. Somehow I feel like I'm being followed. What do you guys think? You think I'm being followed? Are you following me, Penny Pickle? Oh, what a gorgeous hunk of horse. And what a cute mini. Hello. Do you see what she's showing me? She's like, Laura, take me in there. And they're like, yes, 
Take me too. <laughs> There's so much pressure in owning horses. <laughs> soon, soon they'll be out eating the grass all day, all day and relaxing and they won't want me. Remember when I first got Penny and I would ride her around the property and I'd take her in that back arena and we would just work and she'd always be like the first five minutes kind of anxious and then she'd settle down and she would work and then over time I didn't I don't know if I mentioned it but she's gotten to the point now where when I ride around the property she's anxious and she's ready to run and go fast as soon as we walk into that arena she drops her head and relaxes so I know she's getting used to it she's getting used to us she's getting used to this place now I just need to get her used to the uh, the property and then move it on to trails. All right, first stop. Where's the first stop, Gabby? Timmy's. Timmy's, so we can get the nice coffee. Okay. So I called Elizabeth and yeah. said I forgot my boots in the house, so I had to go back. Wow. I said I asked Gabby if she had her boots, and she said no. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your boots too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happens, you guys. We are my girls bring. They have a locker, a nice big locker. They bring their boots home. Why do you bring your boots home? So I can clean them. So she can clean them. They clean their boots. Awesome, awesome. Anyway, so we're gonna go and get coffee, and we'll see you guys at the barn. They're going to be grooming and tacking up, and I am going to set everything up for our adventure. They have and no I'm gonna idea. Call Elizabeth at the barn, and I'm gonna set it up so she can watch. Her. Yeah, they have no idea what the heck we are doing, but I printed off papers so that I would know what I'm doing because I don't ever know what I'm doing either. I know so it's what gonna I'm be doing. fun. So I'm setting up weaving thing all the way down the You'll the see, you'll see what we're doing. We're doing a bunch of different activities. It's gonna be a fun day. What horse are you riding? Storm. What horse are you riding? Finny. All right, so I got all my stuff. I also brought two pylons, mm -hmm. but we might have enough pylons I don't need to bring ours. Yes. Bro, use the small ones first and then do Yeah, how do you know that? Because then it just looks better. Yeah. Good job. You notice okay. no horses come here in the daytime. I swear they all think like, oh, if we stay close to the gate, then people will come. Our owners will come and get us. All right, two horses today. Just two horses, right? Yeah. Ooh, look at you, nice and bright and pink. Hey, and pink. Oh my giraffe. gosh. You guys be matching. I put my sweater on before Gabby put his socks on. This All is right. how we get under. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Horses keep you horses keep you young, you guys. You gotta be able to bend and twist and turn. Yeah, I'm no, like I really hyper right now. I'm like yeah. really hyper right I have now. A freaking bad back. <laughs> yeah, Gabby's falling apart. She's I'm so, really hyper right now. Almost 14 years old. She's got bad knees. She's got a bad back. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, shh, let's be quiet and sneak up on them. Let's sneak up. Shh, don't drag your feet. Oh, Sylvia, stop. We're literally going to the bathroom at night. I know. So, if Sophie stomps. Like, if you're sound asleep in the middle of the night, Sophie gets up to go to the bathroom, the whole world hears it. If you feel an earthquake in your city in the middle of the night, Sophie going to the bathroom. How Finn, Finn sees me. Well, how Finn? Even Storm sees us. They be looking. Oh, all our three are together. Oh my God. Look at this neck, it's so shiny. That's his summer coat. Storm, Who? This is winter coat. Storm? Yeah. Storm, Gabby's bragging about Storm's coat being really shiny. Yeah, it is shiny. I see it even in the camera. Uh oh, where'd Finn go? Finn is gone. I look away for a second. Oh, what a pony you are. Uh, I didn't bring any treats. Pretend you got treats. Aw. I love you, Chino. Gorgeous spring day. Two ponies caught in the blink of an eye. Can you guys guess why Gabby wants to use Storm to play games with? There's one reason. Are you guessing? Can you think of it? The reason is he's short. <laughs> I was just saying how like, um, I don't have a treat. Look, summer coat. Yeah, so shiny. Winter coat. Oh yeah, I know. He's lighter in the. 
in the in the look at that. It's because thin summer coat. It's because it's winter coat. We're golden. It's because winter coat. It's yeah. because it's winter coat. I mean. Got like bleached it out, got sun bleached. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, Finn gets black. golden in summer. Oh, I see two shoes on that boy. One good thing about Finn is that he he's like shoes. such a versatile pony and he doesn't need shoes. Yeah, like I'll give you a treat when we get in there. I know it's it's bad that Oh, look at your bum be looking good. It's looking good, you guys. I'll fix it up, finish it up. Still needs a couple more days of treatment, I think. Alright, so it's hard to see. The poor horse is like probably not loving people coming behind his bum because we've all been back here for so much. Every day we come, we've been taking care of his bum. So he just has little spots. His tail is probably the worst right now. But getting better. But anyway, that's all that happened is he just lost some patches of hair. Like it's not open, it's not sore, it's not anything bad. Just a couple of little spots left. Probably, it'll be done this week. Anyway, the point is, do not put oil on your horse's tail if he has dry, dried out tail because you could cause problems. Holy heck, look at all that hair. Yeah. Sophie's uh, hanging with her friend, Elizabeth, beautiful friend, Elizabeth. best friend. Best friend, beautiful Elizabeth, um, while she grooms. If you can't bring friends to the barn right now, you can still bring friends to the barn. So I'm gonna wash my hands, go to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna go set everything up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys game number one. The girls are still tacking up. I'm gonna go check and see how they're doing. This is game number one. They're gonna come in, and they're gonna go and weave all those cones, and they're gonna come around, go through the barrels, over the tarp, and then go to the finish line. So the trick, because you know there's always got to be a trick. So the trick is that every time they go around, they're going to be going around more and more. Every time they go around, the barrels are going to get closer and closer together. And we're going to see how close we can get. Uh, and whoever gets through it with no problems, the closest that it can be is the winner. I think I'm going to add this black thing. I think, like... If I put this as the last thing and it's just a little jump that they have to go over, I think it would be good. But I have a feeling it would stress Sophie out. I can't remember, has she got over this before? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna do it. This is, this is a game of challenge, you guys. This is the only way that they're gonna challenge themselves and make it fun and make it different for the horses. So yeah, we're gonna do it. So there's that. So it's gonna be like an oval and they're probably gonna make me adjust things when they come in for striding because I don't know I think maybe that around to this isn't good but we're gonna see so now they have to come in they have to weave the pylons go to the barrels come through go over the tarp jump this and then weave the barrels and then I have another one that we're gonna play after that hi stormy night it was nap time, wasn't it? I can see a nap time horse when it's nap time. Yes, I can. It's nap time. <laughs> this is horses. This is Stormy's nap time look. But look at how gorgeous his coat is. You can even see it in here. Uh, our vet told us to give him some oil. Catalina, Cata. I forget what it's called. But it is really making a difference to his coat. But not to his energy level. Listen, we're doing fun games today. You gotta wake up. Finn on the floor. <laughs> All right, Finny. Was it nap time for you too? Yeah, you'd be looking kind of sleepy too. Yes, you are. Not as sleepy as Storm. And look, his mane doesn't even look that bad anymore. Be looking cute. And this is how you know it's springtime in Ontario. Sophie is working with it. What? Okay. Can you do it, Finny? can do it. Elizabeth, you should come to every ride with us. You know why? Why? Because Sophie doesn't complain, whine, cry, or beg. <laughs> come on, Finn. Yes. Oh, boy, I'm so proud of you. This is like my lucky day. Gabby wants me to beat her with a pool noodle. My leg, down here, where it touches my horse's horse. There you go. Oh, can I smack your horse? Yeah. He might kick you, but like, Don't you kick me. He might kick you if you do it there. Do it by his neck. Harder. Whack! 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 Yeah. 
Oh, what a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> he looks mad. Good boy. Yeah. If I had treats, I would give them to you. Look at those ugly teeth. Look at those mean teeth. All right. I know, I just captured the sun in my pool. I need somebody to do that to me with Penny. I need somebody to whack me while I'm sitting on Penny. It would not go very well, but I, I need it to happen. All right, good boy. Good boy, Finny, yeah. Like this guy, this guy's not scared of much, although there was a moment. <laughs> there was a moment where he kind of... Where he spooked at the, at the pile, the shavings pile. Is that our horse right there? Uh, that That's one. not Chino? That's not Chino. Oh, it looked like it was that tail. All right. We're done. I'm going with Gabby. Good boy, Storm. I did his bum. He's almost all finished. Don't do that to me. His bum is almost, you can see a couple of little bumps left, but he's looking good. All, all the stuff on his butt's actually gone. Yeah, I know. He looks good. <laughs> with the voices we need to do a horror video look there goes Finn it's like I'm all done I'm done coming back friends <laughs> the torture is over I want to go do a haunted house this year me too I think that'd be oh, fun when really <laughs> yeah. Gabby tells me to follow her I always follow her horse is following her no, <laughs> oh no I'm climbing up a big hill. I suspect Chino is disappearing. So every time we come, we give some special supplements to Chino. And I think he knows it. Why? How should I just stand with the Sylvia has to come because if you guys haven't been following, she hears somebody call her name. He's running? I'm so disappointed, Chino Bambino. Jump. <laughs> So when I said I always follow Gabby, let me just reinforce the fact that we should never follow Gabby. You coming? coming. Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. Hi. I'm coming, friends. I'm not too tired. We can play with the humans. Chino, come here. I think it's not a good idea to call them, to be honest. He's looking. Hi, come on. Go talk to another horse and see what happens. Honestly, do it. She's got all his medicine behind her. All right, let's see what happens. She's calling him and he's like, nah. I'll just stay here and eat the grass. See, this is perfect grass. This is perfect grass for our horses. Finn was laying it, like going down to wool. He's watching. Oh, something's happening. Nope, nothing's happening. <laughs> he doesn't care today. All right made it all the way out here. So anyway, yeah, this is the perfect kind of grass. Do that. Here. This is, okay, here, hold the treats that I brought for him for taking his medicine. Right, that's it, we did it. See that mess on his face? Yeah. Give Tina some body. treats. No, 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 Save no, me. no, treats, treats. Oh my God, she chases her horse, horse down. Ra horse race. Oh. That's what's sad. He'd be looking at his girl. His girl be chasing another boy. No. I don't like that, Chino, because we're in the middle of the horse field. Is it broken? Yeah. I actually had so much fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. We had so much fun. And we brought Sophie's friend with us virtually through the computer and it was fun. I'm gonna see how much data that used. And 
If it didn't use much data, then I'm gonna have a lesson. I, I'm gonna get Fiona to give us a lesson. Like, it, it was fun. Like, my girls acted different with their friends there. There was no fighting. I didn't act different. No, Gabby was the same. Sophie was like, more brave. Like, it was fun. Sam and I got home just at the same time that the girls and I got home. We walked into the house together, and then I noticed that the grass is getting really long, and we needed to get a new blade for our lawnmower so that I can cut the grass. Um, so we decided to take a chance. We came to TSC and it was open. Like no stores are open, but it was open because they sell food for animals. And so we went in and he garden was, and garden supplies. So yeah, like we can't buy socks, but we can buy mulch for our garden. Yeah, it was weird in that store. You couldn't buy shirts, coats, and boots, but you can buy tools. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't understand, you guys. Explain it to me, because this is just craziness. Anyway, so we were... It's a farm story. It's all farm stuff. Yeah, so I guess you can farm, you just can't dress. So, anyway, we're driving here, and we found this place called... What was it called, Sam? Bad Bastard. Yeah, why would they put a, like, bad name in the title? Anyway, we found this store, this restaurant that's never been here before. It sells Mexican food, and I'm like... Oh, I'm like, oh my, burritos. Yeah, like we, there's no place here that sells burritos, except for does, uh. Yeah, we got mucho burrito. We have mucho burrito? Yeah. I've never had burritos before. Like I've never, I've never eaten, a, well I have eaten like grocery store burritos, but they're not very good. Never really eaten burritos, never eaten out at a burrito place before. We have mucho burrito, where, do, when did that come? Long time ago. Oh, well I didn't even know. So anyways, we passed it and I'm like, we are eating there for supper. So I messaged, look at all those people. A whole bunch of people. So anyways, I messaged the girl and I'm like, hey, we're gonna get burritos for supper. And they're like, yeah, no thanks, we don't want a burrito. But Sam and I ordered a burrito. We ordered a blind. We don't know anything about burritos. We ordered like, that the says, I ordered online. It says, do you want crunchies? I'm like, yeah, we want crunchies. Like what the heck are crunchies? Do you know what we're getting? We do not know what we're getting. He's getting beef, I'm getting chicken. Surprise. Surprise, and we ordered a big one. We don't know how big they are even. Like, we don't know anything about burritos, but we're gonna find out. I'm super excited. Are you excited to eat it? Yep. I'm I am too. Uh, yeah, Sam's always excited. Sam and Sophie always love Always excited to eat new food. Yeah, me too. I'm really excited. Right, this is what we got, you guys. This is the restaurant. We got these that I ate in the car. They were deep fried avocado. Ooh, can I check? Yeah, I saved three for you, four for you. I like my food to be really hot. That's why I ate them. Avocado, it's so good. And the sauce was really yummy. Mm. You like them? And then we got these, and they're they're massive. It's like the weight of a newborn baby. It's the size of a newborn baby. Yeah, feel it. My like, I will not be eating all mine. So one is beef. You got three? No. You can try it. Uh, This is that. This is yours. Ground beef. All right. This is mine. Chicken. Mine's bigger. Feel mine. Yeah, yours looks bigger. Mine, mine is way heavier. Well, then what are these? Holy jeez. <laughs> they ripped off. You did. Then what are these? These are cheesecake for dessert. So I got two of these, and I figured we could split them. Oh, cheesecake. Oh, I hate cheesecake. I'll share with Sophie. <laughs> God. Holy guacamole, look at this baby. Oh, you know why mine's bigger? I got more stuff on mine. I can't wait to cut it open and see what's in it. Okay, that's it, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's the best thing I ever tried in my life. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, the thing is, it has really, I got the burrito spice on it. I didn't even know what the burrito spice was and I got crunchies. I don't know what that is. The burrito spice makes it. Oh my gosh. Here's the fried cheesecake. 